Hi everyone, welcome to another of my videos. Uh, okay, so um, about the video. Um, right, so I just finished the course. I was doing some uh, coding for the for the website, um, and uh, of course I paid for it, and uh, and this was a pretty cool project. So I made a website at the end of it. Um, there were some pictures. There were some some short videos uh, included it. So it really looks very good. And of course, um, there was the resources that were the the pictures I was using, and um, and the tutor gave us some some resources, some lists of the websites he used for the for the pictures he's using. I had a look at it. I uh, checked them out. Really cool. This is the number three, four, and five. The pixels from Splash and Footy's feed. Um, however, I didn't actually see the ones I'm using. So you know what? I decided like let's share my uh, my options that I would like to actually when I'm using and uh, and show the ones that Tutor gave me. And I decided to make a video just to actually show how they work and everything, and um, what's needed if you want to use them for websites, and uh, what's actually how to attribute it, or what's the actually uh, Creative Commons and how to actually use them for commercial or not commercial use. Okay, so. Let's begin. Flickr is the one I've been using for a long time, and it wasn't on my tutors list, uh, but I use it forever, really. Um, Creative Commons and Attribution, I'll show them as well. I'll show the how of those. This is the only website you actually need a subscription. The other ones you don't need. Wikimedia Commons, yeah, you guessed it. So this is Wikipedia. Can you use the Wikipedia photos or uh, whatever there is, or charts or something? And of course, how I use them. So, Flickr itself, if you go on the website, you can see this. It's basically the point of it is actually uh, individual users. They have a storage page there, professional ones that you need to pay, and of course uh, you need to pay if you don't want to see the advertising. So they do make money. They're really cool, and some of these guys who are sharing the photos are actually, I think, they're professional, really, really. And the choice is there's so many users and so many things. So this is when I'm logged in. And of course, I didn't mention the the advertising and everything. <clears throat> okay, and just keep it simple. Let's just seek for something, uh, uh, something like a cruise ship, like you know, it's like a photo or something. So it should be opening it soon. Right here we go. <clears throat> so this is when I'm logged in, and these are the pictures here. They're coming up like slowly, but they're coming up. Uh, and uh, there's plenty of these. The thing is, what you need is, you need to actually see the license, what's going on here. <clears throat> All Creative Commons, Commercial Use, modified Modifications Allowed, Commercial Use, uh, Mods, No Known known Copyright Restrictions. <clears throat> They're going to be smaller choices because of that, so you don't need to attribute, you don't need to do anything of it, you can just use the picture. Um, and you can see the choice is still there, and it's uh, it's not as big as it was. It's still loading actually, and uh, not all the pictures that there was in in a full search. But these are the ones I mainly use because I can actually change them. I can uh, do whatever I want with them, pretty much. Let's have a look at this one. If, in just in case, I wanted this picture here. Right. So there we go. Um, so this picture is loaded, and what I need is, I do actually use attribution all the time, really. This is the user posting it, this is the name of the picture, and um, of course the license and everything, that, that's going to come up in, in a second when I'm going to push the download. I'm just going to go for um, view, all, view all sizes, because this link on the top doesn't really look that good. Now it looks better. This is what I usually <clears throat> use for a link. Then you have all the sizes here. I usually go for original, uh, and these are the copyright instructions. This is a zero CC zero, though that's the basic one. That basically means you don't need any attribution. You can use them as as, as you want, really. And download start, starts here, and this is the link for the picture. This is a Flickr, and I use it a lot, and it's pretty cool. So this is my website, siteforcrew.com. I created it, so it's pretty basic, like you know. But then again, jobs on cruise ship, 
it has all the list of the cruise lines, it has all the list of the agencies, uh, job search uh, platforms, so if you're looking for a job on cruise ship by all means, some agencies come with the email address, <clears throat> the same for the river cruise ships, there's a list of the river cruise lines, uh, river ship management companies and all this. There are some articles and uh, job fairs as well. Um, I do have my own section, like fun one. I have my own pictures just to share, and I have small notations there. Um, and it looks like this. So these are my own pictures, and uh, I have some some things. So I don't need to actually attribute them. I just put them on, and uh, it doesn't need to be anywhere listed really. So the pictures go and go and go. The things where I use pictures is the ones that I can't really get. So cruise job fairs this year due to the pandemic, there's not many. This is actually Flickr. This is Flickr as well. This is a city and uh, this is Monaco. It's also a city. So I was never in Monaco. I was in London, but I don't have any pictures. <clears throat> so I just use the Flickr. And the same at the home page, you know, it's like some of the pictures were not so good. And then you have the website updates, you know, like small ones. So you have every month an update. So you have a logo, you have a picture. Uh, attribution for logos so I don't post them this ship is actually attributed and this picture you saw already that's attributed as well so what I did is uh, even this is on zero so I don't need attribution I don't want to run into any problems so copyright buttons here are top so it's gonna bring me to the website where I have attribution and these are attribution there um, for job fairs there used to be many like in around the world and have like all these pictures about cities and everything here and then websites updates. I did mention the couple of pictures are there as well, and some things here um, listed. So I didn't have to do it, but I did it just in case, just to be on the safe side. Let's just enlarge it. And as you can see, so basically this is actually what it is. So the picture name was Munich, uh, the city. It's on a Flickr. Then you have. Um, um, Okay, um, by Digital Cat, that's the author. A picture, that's a long name, um, audio plot, something like that. Link to the picture as I showed you. Published until attribution to uh, zero, generic CC by two zero. <coughs> so, two zero doesn't really change much, is these uh, letters here which you need to pay attention to. That's why I wanted to show you the Creative Commons. This is Creative Commons, so it's not the. It's. Um, it's it's not a legal service, so they they don't. Uh, it's a non-profit, and it, it's not a legal basis or anything. And um, they do have a donations button, of course, and they list all the features, whatever there is. Like you know, if you want to contribute the videos, music, or um, or pictures, of course. Credit Commons itself, using Remix. Um, that's the button here. I'm just going forward. Um, Attribution sources. So basically, this shows how you need to be attributing. I didn't use this this format because that would take forever, like to do it. And this is the ideal attribution that they're saying. And I use this um, <clears throat> use this sort of example to do it. So you need the title, you need the author, you need the source, and you need the license. So what's the story with the licenses and everything? So um, these are the licenses on Creative Commons, and uh, they are explained here. CC by, uh, which is this one here, the 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 um, logo with the person means uh, credit credit must be to be given to an auto. So they kind of go tr through all these all licenses there is. They don't have numbers like you know the, but these logos are the ones that actually mean something. And then explained here. It's, to be true, you can actually use it for for the for the photos. Uh, there we go. Search for the CC image, create a common so they have actually built it in, um, and then you can choose them, and they do the search in the different websites. You know, let's 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 keep on going, doing what we were. Okay, just just a second, it's loading. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Cruise ship. There we go. Okay, let's see what's gonna bring up. So you can actually search for the photos here. So what I do it, um, it's gonna show me all the photos here. Audio I haven't tried yet. Video I'm gonna make videos, uh, video about videos, but they don't have a video search at the moment. So modify and adapt. Uh, use commercially. So commercially ones you need, need to usually pay for them. Um, okay, on the left here also sources. So these are the sources for the pictures they actually search and which there. And you see the flickers here as well. There's some other ones, 
NASA, so I don't know, if you want to go to space pictures, you want to do something with that, Smithsonian Institution, um, like uh, hist uh, historic things, and um, yeah, this is how it starts, the licenses and everything, so this is CCO, this is the one that you don't least need to do. And of course here, when the question mark is, it's explained and there's a link you can go further. So this work is marked as being in the public domain, so you can use it pretty much for everything. And uh, it's going to tell you if you need to do. So this one with the hu um, okay, with the, with the person, uh, that needs attribution, so if you just go here, and go to the license, it's going to explain you how it works, and you can get the pictures there as well. So it's 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 like a massive, 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 massive uh, resource as well. Um, attribution for uh, international, so CC by, uh, so basically this is a version 4, that's what it says. CC, uh, okay, there's advertising for that donation, I should be doing this. CC by, that's the one you need to pay attention to, this is a version 4, so this is actually changing. There's version 2, version 4, now it's all over. So. Share it says what you need to do. Copy, distribute material in any medium or format. So you can rix, transform, you can do change it as if you want it. Attribution there's the human uh sorry. Yeah, human being. Um and it explains in detail what you need. You need to do the attribution and everything. There's some notes in the back. It's a great source, and if you want to know what's what's the legal terms of it or how to do it, the great comments are the one for your back reference. Okay, yeah, Wikipedia Commons. Well, basically, I, I was speaking about Wikipedia Commons. Uh, basically, that's the Wikipedia, and they have many websites, of course. There we go. So you have Wikipedia Free Media uh, Repository, and of course, they have. Oh, what they don't have? They have so many resources. So, learning resources, travel guide. Oh my God. Dictionary, of course, and they have Wikipedia and Wikipedia Commons. So you, you basically, I because of Wikipedia Commons, let's say, like like typing a subject like war, you know. Um, so it gives you all this, and you have all these pictures in the right. So um, let's just um, check one of these. Um, just collect this one here, and uh, this goes to the like Wikipedia Commons because it's. Uh, it works in conjunction with the Wikipedia, so it, it's first uh, posted on comments, and uh, this is the, where the media is, like uh, all the pictures, you know, and uh, this is what it's going to take you. So this is how it looks, and, uh, and you need information of using. So basically this is a painting of a famous artist of Napoleon, and uh, of course, so there's uh, 50 or 70 years after the author's death uh, that the um, whatever they have, like even movies, even music, even um, even pictures. So this was painted two centuries ago, so 200 years ago, pretty much. And uh, this picture by all by author's death, if it's only like a photo copy of it, <clears throat> it is still on public domain. So you shouldn't be uh, paying for it or even leaving um, any sort of. Uh, um, like author's uh, attribution. So licensing is here on the bottom. This says both public domain, copyright items, author's life plus 100 years of or fewer. So basically, yeah, so Orwell, uh, the writer Orwell of, of 1984 is just recently, um, yeah, left us uh, from this lively life now. Um, he has died and uh, so, 50 years in England, you can actually use the Orwell's uh, older books now, and uh, it's 70 after the death in the US. So, in the US, if you want to see the Orwell, like the, if you want to publish on your website the, the, the book, or you want to actually publish in the print, you can do it. In the US, you can't do it, they need to wait a few more years. So, this is the comments, and you can actually get all the pictures here. The interesting thing is, um, for the web, use this file link, and this is the information like uh, for the download. So you can download here, and uh, the information now is no, that's actually wrong. Okay, let's just go back. And uh, right, this is just takes a second. And I need to go under the downloads in this this moment. There we go. Okay, um, 
it says attribution here, uh, creating comments, and it's very simple, you know, uh, uh, public domain, uh, it's on Wikipedia Commons, and that's the uh, author. And you have links to, to it as well, but this is all the attribution they want to do. So, it's very basic, uh, you can download the sizes, resolutions, and everything, and uh, this is actually Wikipedia and how they do it. Um, so this is the uh, comparison, so we, we actually bash through the Wikipedia, bash through the Flickr. Um, on the top one, this is the Wikipedia, uh, just underneath the Wiki Commons, this is Wikipedia, how they want to actually uh, attribute it. So there's the author's name, there is the license, there's a link to the license, I, um, that doesn't really make that much, much sense, and it, it's uh, via Wikimedia Commons downloader. My one, as I mentioned, it's a, uh, it's a photo name that I use it for. Then it's from Flickr, this is the auto. Um, the picture name is DSI, numbers, hyphen, Toronto City Hall, and the link to the actual picture on Flickr. And the license, of course. This is my sort of idea how to actually attribute it. So you can get the pictures from uh, Flickr, a lot of them. You can get pictures from Wikipedia. Uh, right. Pexels, that's the one that my tutor suggested. Uh, it's pretty cool, I just was there. And uh, you don't need any subscription, you don't need anything here. Um, it says videos, home, so they have a bit more. Um, license itself, let's try to open it. So just to see what it is, so no subscription or anything. It's, uh, this is still opening on a, on a new. Uh, okay, this one goes down. I'm looking for the cruise ships again, just to keep it simple. Um, the license page should be opening soon. There we go. Uh, legal simplicity of all photos, videos, and pixels are downloaded and used for free. What's allowed? So it's all coming down here. Uh, photos and videos and pixels are free to use, attribution is not required, uh, you can modify it, uh, tell your story with Im imaginary. Um, so basically you can do whatever there is, to be honest with you, all these pictures, whatever there is, you don't need to actually, um, you don't need to attribute it, you don't need to do anything, um, let's just give it a second to load. And uh, you can see, like, they have a decent choice. I don't know how many, but uh, I think it's slightly, but definitely less than uh, than Flickr. However, you can see the quality is absolutely smashing. And uh, if you just collect it, it's a free download. Then it's it's gonna download straight away to to your. You can just choose the size there is. Uh, original usually is the best. You can make modifications and the best ones. And uh, this is showing me some advertising. That's you need to do all this. So and this is save file. So it's always already uh, says to to save it. I'll, I'll exit this advertising. Uh, okay, this is here. I'm gonna close this. And for the downloads, you can always already see no subscription or nothing. Open the folder. And uh, shooting popping up, popping up in a second. Here we go. Right, oh, I downloaded too many, I think, these times, and I was trying it out. Oh, this is the one, the last one, so it's here. There we go. And uh, let's just delete these, just to make sure the next time they won't, uh, uh, won't actually look at it. So, there we go, this is the option for my tutor, I absolutely love it. Uh, it's a good quality and everything. Um, the other one, moving forward, um, the other one they actually uh, suggested was the Unsplash. Unsplash, there we go, this is the Unsplash, and um, this is free usable images. Let's have a look what they have to say for it. Let's look, look for uh, no subscription here as well. Let's uh, keep it simple, as I mentioned. Uh, let's look for the cruise ships. Some photos of it. Okay, Unsplash license, it's still loading a little bit, excuse me for my internet connection at this moment. Um, right, license has popped up. Unsplash photos are made to be used freely, our license uh, reflects that. All the, all the photos can be downloaded and used for free, commercial and not commercial use, so you can use it, and no permission needed, so attribution is appreciated, not needed. Photos 
do not. Photos cannot be sold without significant, significant modification, so you don't use the same thing in just selling them. You can use it for videos, you can use it for the websites, but don't be selling them. That's most of the websites actually were saying that are free. Compiling photos from one spot to replicate a similar or compet competing service. So basically what happens is you have the photos and you download them and then you put them on your own website. You, they don't want you to do it. So because this is the free resource from Unsplash, uh, you can use it, you can use the videos, you can use the website, but don't have another website where you can download from free and you just use these pictures from here. You just download them and put them on your website. That's the thing they want to avoid. That's not the thing they're not going to do. Um, so these are the pictures you can see many qualities good um, okay um, let's uh, give it a, give it a try about the download there we go it's already downloaded here underneath there um, what they say here thank you for downloading it uh, this is the attribution you can just copy it on the social media or just say thank you there or put it on your website that you actually using it so this is a very already not on very complicated actually attribution there is pictures are here I already downloaded so no subscription no nothing it's all there and of course it's a great resource that is for free so I wouldn't be complaining about it and the pictures here right um, moving forward uh, okay food is feed um, so as I usually say every web developer needs to make a uh, a website uh, for the restaurant or hotel booking or the online retail and always a restaurant you know you can book a table and everything all this so if you're making a website and you're working on your portfolio this is probably you want to be there is a boat um, just in a corner here and then you see it's all food so it's only food items like you know let's just go down there are lots of cool pictures I don't know there's some beverage, there's some coffee, uh, there's all these things, uh, you have shrimps, about foodies, um, this is just down here as well, um, so foodies is a free resource, also naturally looking food photos that are completely free to download, and this is the description here. Food photographers from all around the world share their photos under the Creative Commons 0 CC0. As I mentioned, that's the basic one. So you don't need to attribute, uh, you don't need to make, uh, don't need to attribute auto, you don't need to mention the website. So it's very simple. So if you're working on your uh, website and you want these pictures, um, download free. Let's have a look. So, okay, it comes up here free download sign up for uh, instant download so they want actually you to, to create an account I guess uh, just for the crack of it uh, instant because um, I think the progress bar was just underneath here it says there we go advertising yeah and this is the instant download that, that should be starting so and then you just save as um, let's just say save it should be in the downloads it should be downloading now and uh, it works the same and it's already here so you can see it um, so no subscription no nothing if you want to work on this and everything um, let's move forward and let's get a bit interesting so Google search this is actually uh, something actually discovered by um, accident I was looking for the picture I couldn't find in Flickr I was looking for the picture and I didn't get these other options. So I was looking just for the picture. So basically what happens is, if you go on Google and Google search, as usual, um, there we go, we're just going to continue with whatever we were used to doing. And we go to the images. Let's just make, looking for a cruise ship. Right, so the image is coming up. So I was looking for the images, and you can see there's everything like you know it's like it's Google all right so if you go to the tools and this was a feature I didn't even know that does actually exist then um, user rights so commercial use um, or other licenses basically basically they're gonna sell high quality pictures and they're gonna well, it's not creative commons creative commons is pretty much every single one can be reused almost um, these ones the pictures they're gonna show you the licensable licensable these are actually from original Royal Caribbean or Chevrolet Leisure and these pictures if you're gonna click on them they usually come from a big companies like Getty Images that actually have 
photographers around the world, um, photographing celebrities, events, and other things. So, and uh, this is what it is. And there's a license detail here as well. Uh, creator copyrights. Okay, this is actually uh, this is probably not going to be. Um, it's not going to be. This is Getty Images, of course. Yeah, yeah. There, there we go. It already comes up. So the best pictures are always going to be there. And this is in German, so you basically need to pay for it. There's the prices, music videos, whatever there is, you can buy for them. And everybody knows what Getty Images is. And sh sorry, showing in German because I'm in Germany at the moment. Um, but Creative Commons, as I mentioned, this this is where the people actually want to put their own work and put it for uh, for for the use of the community. So this is Creative Commons licenses, and it's going to give me the pictures. They're going to be different than the ones of these, of course. Um, and uh, I, I'm still reserved from doing this or using it. If I need a particular picture, then Desperation is going to bring me to here. You can see um, Wikipedia org. As, as you know, all the Wikipedia uh, is pretty much and Wikipedia Commons as well is here, so you can really actually download them. It's going to bring you to the page. Uh, Pixabay, uh, I think that's another one new. Um, that's a new uh, website. I think it's, it has a free pictures as well. Um, so, okay, let's have a look. This is me. It's a bit of slow now at the moment. And uh, it's going to bring me the picture now as well, and it's going to have the license details as well there. So, um, license details are here. There's no author on this one. Uh, I haven't used the Pixabay uh, related images. Let's have a look what it says on the license detail. And uh, Creative Commons. Oh, there we go. So it's going to bring you to Creative Commons and it's going to explain exactly what you can do. It's going to give you the copyright only dedication based on United States laws, a public domain certification. So it's public domain, so you can pretty much do everything there is. It even has a, um, this legal tool. So yeah, they, they're creating new Creative Commons licenses now. This is what is not describing. It usually be whatever we saw before that, you know, the the list of the usual things. So Wikip Wikipedia is going to bring bring you to the to to the Wikipedia Commons, so you can see the license there. There's no problem with that. But all the other ones, the older ones, which is 4.0 now, which is actually common now, uh, you can see already on the top 4.0. Um, this is the new type of the license they show, and attribution is required. You can see that you can reuse it and commercial use. Uh, so, and uh, it's going to give you all the details that you can do and not to hear attribution, share alike. Um, so, and additional restrictions and everything, attribution, of course. So, I um, hope actually actually that shows you the idea what you can do and what you, or you can get some pictures. Um, I probably look for more resources for the next video. This probably explains how you to work attribution. I usually do the attribution even if it's unneeded, uh, just in a case. I use it for my websites and, of course, on YouTube videos you can use them. Uh, just do the attribution and underneath and the description of video or actually on a video on, a, on the bottom of the picture which probably not gonna look good but this is how you do the attribution these are my few options now for um, for uh, for where you can get your decent pictures there's no way you can travel the world and take the pictures of everything you want and then use them for your website that's, that's not gonna really happen so I hope this actually um, is useful I hope I explained the features and of course if you want to see where to get the videos because I'm making videos on YouTube as well and I need some video material I'm gonna be doing a video as well on my YouTube channel you can just uh, google it up uh, sorry <laughs> search it up on YouTube and uh, it's going to be on my channel uh, about the videos as well, not only pictures as this ma this one made. And um, I will look into the attribution as well, which is new to me. And uh, of course, yeah, well, these were my options. I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, uh, as always, thank you for watching and I hope to see you on the next one. Have a great day.